Hello, I'm going to show you what I did to apparently disable the radio entirely in Forza Horizon 4, uh, the Steam version that I am playing in Windows 11 on my PC. Uh, this is a tip that I found on the Forza.net forum. It was come up with by Lausch Lurger, user Lausch Lurger, and refined by user FlashyClamp5213, so thank you very much to those uh, people for coming up with this tip, which did work for me. It does involve changing one small file that the game has installed on my computer, and uh, keep in mind that when you are altering game files in a way not uh, not sponsored by the uh, game developer, you could end up just breaking the game. Uh, 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 an update to the game could could break the game because I've made this modification. So uh, this is very much a do-at-your-own-risk thing. It, it might eventually result in me having to completely reinstall the game or something. I don't know, but so far it worked. Um, you know, if you, if you are wary of modifying game files, then I would not suggest uh, doing this. However, for me, the in-game radio was a problem, uh, so that it, it's worth the risk to me because I, the game does not allow you to turn the radio off all the way. You can only turn the volume down to 1, not 0. So we'll keep playing. You can set it to streamer mode. You have to set that each time. But even in streamer mode, I found that YouTube still uh, gave me some copyright claims against videos that I posted from the game, even though they were supposedly streamer safe uh, in the streamer mode, which I had turned on. So that, uh, that was aggravating. But this little tiny file hack seems to have fixed it. So let me show you what I did. It's pretty basic. You just go to where the game is installed, which for Steam games, at least for me, has been uh, C program files x86. Um, and then uh, we've got the Steam folder and Steam apps folder common. And then the game is Forza Horizon 4. And now you drill down to the media folder, the audio folder, the fmod opus folder the x64 folder and here we are and there's just one tiny file there's all these dot ban and k files dot bank files which seem to have something to do with the game music or maybe the radio specifically i don't know it's one file it's called uh regularly it's called glb underscore radio dot bank uh apparently you can delete this file to disable the radio i didn't i hedged my bets i didn't want to delete it just in case i I don't know, wanted the radio back for some bizarre reason or didn't want to screw it anyway. So I just renamed it. So I just put a Z uh, in front of the regular file name. So now mine is Z, GLB underscore radio dot bank. And that, you know, I've done this before with other things like this because once you rename it, the game does not know how to find it. Uh, at least this game doesn't. So it, as far as it it's basically deleting it, except you can easily restore it if you need to. So, um, so yeah, I did that, and now I will run the game, and we should find that there is no in-game radio playing at all. Once my 2020 gaming laptop manages to crank this thing up, and uh, we get through the, the ridiculous UI. This game's UI is so... It's, it's horrible. I hear that they've improved these things in Forza Horizon 5, so that's good. Uh, it'd be nice if they felt like going back to 4 and uh, making the UI not a horrible hellscape to navigate, but I, I guess they aren't going to do that. So you still get, like, UI music, like this little Tinkerbell tune every time you run the game. Which kind of drives me up the wall, because I don't want to be hearing it. I don't want to be waiting for the game to load. I want to be hit playing the game. Now you have to sit through some little nonsense here. Okay. Okay. So, all quiet. I, there's a little sound of wind. Uh, let's check what's going on in the menu. So, you notice the upper right there, it 
it has this little icon which I ah, why did it do that upper right there's a it, shows, it says I'm on the hospital station and it's playing something called Fred V and graphics with sunrise those are supposedly unlicensed radio tunes um, but we can't hear any of that playing and uh, under audio I I have the radio set at full volume. I do not have streamer mode on. You would have to re-enable it every time you ran the game anyway. So, so uh, yeah, normally you would be hearing radio music playing here, in-game radio music playing. That's not happening. I'm going to go out, hit the uh, right on the D-pad, which changes the radio station. I hit it once. Let's see what it's doing now. It thinks it's playing some Mozart for us. And notice we are still not hearing anything. Can I hit it again? What, what's it think it's doing now? Oh, now it thinks radio's off. Let's do... Well, it is off. Little does it know. Uh, now it thinks it's doing Horizon Pulse Station, Charlotte Gainsborough, uh, Deadly Valentine. I think I pronounced her name wrong. And we do not hear any sort of Deadly Valentines. One more change. Horizon Bassarina Station, Flostradamus. Too much featuring 24 hours. Unless it's a completely silent track that that group somehow fooled people into buying uh, this radio is definitely disabled so that's good so you uh, you don't have to listen to the in-game radio anymore at least I don't since I made that little file change which hopefully will not end up breaking the game you can hear all you can hear is the engine the clanking me running into things life is good breaking through stone walls uh, so yeah that's uh, that's what I did, and it seems to have done the trick. The other things in the menus of uh, trying to turn the volume down or turn streamer mode on or whatever, those did not do the trick for me. So um, so this seems to have done it. So thank you very much. Let me get out of here. Thank you very much to Forza.net forum users Lausch Lurger and Flashy Clamp 5213 for coming up with that tip of altering this little tiny installed file. The game has not broken for me, so that's good. It could break yours again if you, uh, you know, messing with game files could, could mess things up. But, you know, they're your files. You've installed the game. Don't let anybody tell you different. Stick it to the man. Don't let stupid corporate music license decisions ruin your enjoyment of what is actually a fantastic, so far for me, driving game uh, that is unfortunately uh, stuck in a, in a horrible UI and influencer and design decisions. But uh, the actual driving part's so good that I guess I keep going back to it. So... Uh, so that's good. Now I don't have to listen to the radio, and I don't have to get copyright uh, copyright claims stealing my precious hundreds of pennies on on my YouTube videos. Uh, so yeah, thanks thanks for watching this video, and uh, see you later.